The AT&T Hello Sunshine Filmmaker Lab brings together aspiring young female filmmakers and amazing female leaders from all corners of the entertainment industry to share their journey. Join us to discover how a concept goes from script to screen and the many people that play a role in this incredible process. What I'm most excited for during this week is to be behind the camera and interview some awesome women in the film industry and find out what their experience has been and the great things that they've been doing. You know, as women come together, it's like we have a goal and like when we get that goal accomplished, it's empowering. My name is Reese Witherspoon. I'm a founder here at Hello Sunshine. Kathleen McCaffrey, SVP Drama Programming, HBO, which is a part of Warner Media. I'm Cody Elaine Oliver, producer, director of the series called Black Love. My name is Chantal Nong. I'm a vice president in Warner Brothers Film Production. I am Jess Kender. I am the production designer of Little Fires Everywhere, which is the head of the arts department. I'm Lynn Elizabeth Paolo. I'm a costume designer. I'm Amelia Allwarden. I'm an editor. Uh, I'm Afnan Khan uh, with uh, Warner Brothers Feature Post Production, and I'm senior vice president. I'm Pam Lifford president of Global Brands and Experiences, and I work for Warner Brothers, a division of Warner Media. My first job ever was a waitress at Pizza Hut, but my first job in the industry was actually working as a scenic, which means you paint sets for on and off Broadway shows. And that I got because I went to school for set design at a university car called Carnegie Mellon. And when I came out here, I was lucky enough that Carnegie has a big alumni group. And I got my first job drafting sets for like commercials because of Carnegie. I happened to get lucky enough to have a day where I interviewed for three different jobs and I got three different job offers. And I said to each job, if you will get me into the art director's union, I will take your job. Two of them said no, one of them said yes. And then at the end of working a season with them, they got me into the union and I was able to start set designing. I really started not knowing anything about film and internships were a great way to expand my experience. I ended up going to the Peter Stark Producing Program at USC. That was really a way to get a network. I don't have or didn't have any relationships in the industry, and it's an industry that does rely a lot on networking as far as how to get jobs, and as somebody who didn't have those relationships. So I essentially bought a network, because I actually don't think you need to go to graduate school uh, to do what I do, but it actually ended up being great, because through them, I got my internship at William Morris, which led me to my job at William Morris. Arrived here from England, I didn't know it was so. I made friends, and I just networked, and I actually went around to all the production companies and introduced myself and I finally got a job as a production assistant and then I moved up to be a production coordinator. But um, I just kept looking at the costume department and felt I really want to get into the costume department. I was given that opportunity by a woman who said, yeah, I think you'd be great at that and she helped me get my days in the union. So that's a huge step for me. I started taking acting classes when I was like 10 and I started working then in little commercials in Nashville. And then when I was 14 years old, a movie came to Nashville looking for a 14-year-old Southern girl. Um, so <laughs> I was perfect. But I, I think that was a big moment for me, and I learned so much on that first movie. And it really meant a lot to me that people took the time to explain how the boom works and how the cameras worked. And, and the more you, you learn about every side of your business, I always say, like, it's great to be an actor, and it's wonderful. But it was really important that I learn how movies are made how movies make money, where do they have profits, where do they have loss, how do you market a movie, um, how do you prepare for a movie, how do you edit a movie. So as soon as I got those opportunities, I, um, I took internships during my summers and I just learned all about that process. I didn't get into film school and I went to a liberal arts college and so I decided to create my own major. So I combined um, visual arts, communications, film theory, and a, a study abroad in London doing film production to create my own major to sort of get what I wanted out of it. I moved to LA after college and I participated in an internship with American Cinema Editors, which is a program that teaches people who are pep just newly graduated from college, how to be assistant editors and be editors. It was sort of like my own film school, a big wake up call as to exactly how to get into the industry uh, 
in the beginning. I would say my first you know, typical industry job was probably working at Fox Searchlight because I worked there for almost two years. It was amazing. I was doing development for feature films. But when my husband and I met and started talking about the idea for Black Love, our docu-series, it just made sense for me to direct it so we could move things along and it was kind of my baby. And then look up, I'm using my broadcast journalism degree, I'm using my film degree, I'm using my business minor, and everything that I had learned up to that point, every job that I had, every person that I met, all of that networking, all of that energy was not in vain because now it's paying off. So what people don't know when they think about Hollywood is you don't have to sit in front of the camera to be part of Hollywood. That there are viable businesses that make up the, the entertainment world that are beyond the creation of content. And so consumer products, um, as an example, is one of the things that um, most studios hold valuable because it allows the consumer to be engaged 365 days a year. A film can't do that. It creates the moment, but then it needs something else to help elongate the moment. And so my job is then to take that creation and then make sure that people take it home with them beyond going to a movie or watching it on television, but they actually wear t-shirts. They sleep in the pajamas. They have toys or collectibles that they experience. And so I am the tail of the dog that makes a lot of money. <laughs> Our department oversees all the ongoing drama series that you see on Sunday night and on Monday nights on HBO. So what we do is we basically, each executive oversees a number of shows. And so we do everything from read and give notes on the scripts, to give notes on cuts, to hiring cast, hire, helping to hire crew, and just overseeing the whole process. We're sort of like the caseworker for each show that we cover. The other part of the job is discovering new talent. So that comes from, there are two ways to do that. One, we take a lot of general meetings, which means agents send us scripts. We take a read, and then we meet with the writer. That's my favorite part of the job. I think there's a, you know, it's incredible to find new voices and just sit in a room and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody who you think is really talented. So that's one piece. And then the other piece is we hear a lot of pitches. People come in with their ideas, they meet with the team, we hear them out, we talk about what could be in the season, and then we decide whether or not we're gonna pick it up to develop, or buy it to develop it or not. Well, my day-to-day -day role here at Hello Sunshine is reading a lot of books. We read a lot, we read scripts. Once we decide what books we wanna turn into movies, then we have to hire screenwriters. So we'll go through ideas of 10 to 20 different screenwriters and say, which one would be right for this material? Then we have to go to all the studios and try and sell the project. Um, after we sell the project, I should say, when we sell the project, um, we get to cast it. We get to decide which director is right for it. Um, and then we go into pre-production, which is um, prepping the sets, the locations, finding the whole cast. And then we go into production. And then post-production is a lot of editing and watching different cuts and saying, should we add music here? Or should we cut away from that shot there? So it's a lot of watching or reading and then discussing. Watching, reading, discussing. So what being a production designer means is that I am um, in hand with the director of photography in charge of the look of the show. And so I manage a bunch of departments, starting from my own, which is the art department, and then um, construction, which builds the sets, set deck, which fills the sets with everything, like the chairs and the paintings and those bits, props, which is anything anybody touches. For example, the main character that we're working with now when I started putting together, I wanted to have this really like tight, controlled color palette. And I sort of pictured within that color palette a couple pops. I talked with our costume designer and was like, here's what I'm thinking. And she's like, I was thinking that pop of color would be her signature color. So we know we're all working together. And so we're trying to make sure our visions are cohesive within a show. Well, at the moment, I'm working on Little Fires Everywhere um, with Hello Sunshine. So I love working with the writers directly and talking to them and the director too. So you interpret what they've written, you know. They write something like, a woman walks down the street. Well, what kind of woman is she? What are her shoes? Where is she going? Where has she been? You know, how old is she? What does her hair look like? So lots of things like that. 
My day to day is basically um, every day I get the footage that they shot the day before and I watch everything and I assemble quick versions of the scenes to try and make sure we have everything, establish the, the emotional tone and uh, pacing of the scene. And my, my job continues through that where I, I slowly assemble an entire episode of television and then once it's all together, the director and I come work together. It's entirely collaborative the whole way down. If you have a good attitude about things and you just have a hunger to learn and be passionate, things will work out. Be strong and head out into the world and embrace it and love it. I think it's really important to get an education because you know at the end of the day in school I remember a lot of people would not love group projects as much as other projects. And the reality is, is life is a group project. And to learn how to communicate and deal with different types of people and different personalities, then you'll be far more prepared and ahead of the curve once you start working in the industry. And I use a lot of those skills every single day of my life. Just be open-minded, because you don't know what's coming. And I would probably just tell myself to dream big. We met many women leaders in diverse roles with so many skills and passions. They've found their own path, and we hope this inspires you to find yours. It's just so much experience in one week, and I'm really grateful that I get to be a part of it. It was fun to actually put all the skills that we learned into action and meet all the amazing women. I'm feeling really empowered and inspired to continue thriving and learning from all these amazing women and not give up on my dreams. Woo!